hello it's wednesday april 8th and i'm starting a, another reading vlog my last reading vlog was my shadow hunters one and the most recent book i finished after that was chain of gold which i absolutely loved and gave it five stars and after that i did a buddy read keely and i buddy read the vanishing deep i will leave her channel linked up below and yeah it was a really good book to buddy read it went really fast it's a mystery fantasy set in this world that's like the world was destroyed by oceans and so like they mostly live on islands and this girl is living on her own her parents are dead her sister died and when she finds out that her sister potentially caused her parents death she saves up for this program that will revive a loved one for 24 hours but then when her sister convinces them to break out they are like kind of on a embarking on a dangerous journey to discover the truth and however the research facility will stop at nothing to get them back to keep the secrets from getting out. It was really fast paced, a really quick read, and a really interesting and inventive like fantasy mystery element that I really, really enjoyed. And it was just really cool and really different. And I definitely want to pick up her other book, Four Dead Queens, as well, because I think that this author, Asha Schulte, is kind of carving out a very unique niche for herself in the book world and I think it's really awesome to see and I truly enjoyed her writing and I really thought the mystery aspect of it was really cool, really good pacing, um, just an overall very enjoyable book. And so with that, I am going to start Crescent City. Oh my god, I just like love the way this feels in my hands. I have also ordered the Waterstones edition and that should be coming in the mail. I tomorrow it's like heavy because the pages are so thick but yeah i'm gonna fully annotate this and read it and i'm just so excited to learn more about bryce quinlan and hunt and like be back in a sarah j mass reading it i'm looking on this first page and it says the four houses of midgard house of earth and blood house of sky and breath house of many waters and house of flame and shadow so i'm wondering if there's supposed to be like four books in the series and those are going to be their titles um, or maybe it, it wouldn't, I don't know. But yeah, oh my god, these pages feel like so thin, but I just like love the feeling of like going like this with the book. I don't know, just something like very tactile about books and I love it. And I can't wait to start it and I'm probably gonna read it pretty slow. I was gonna buddy read it with Maddie, but she reads very fast and I, depending on like what I'm doing, don't necessarily read super fast. Sometimes I do read a lot, but like lately I haven't been. So I'm gonna start ahead of her and then maybe I'll finish it before her, maybe I won't, but it's like a kind of buddy read that's basically like how I how I buddy read with her because we're just a mess. So uh, yeah, that's my update for now. Hello, so it's now like one in the morning, but but I did get to page 58, 56 of Crescent City and I'm loving it so far. It's so unique and different. Definitely a little bit info dumping in the beginning, but I expect that from adult fantasy and I think that maybe people that don't read adult fantasy and read mostly YA fantasy would be taken a bit aback by how info dumpy it is, but like the, the to me it seems typical of the amount of info dumping that is usually in the beginning of a adult fantasy series just to set up the world because in YA fantasy I feel like authors try to lay it out a little bit simpler but in adult fantasy you just kind of go in and you get it explained to you along the way and you shouldn't have this expectation that everything will be like laid out basically like you'll be reading things and you'll have to try and get them from the context clues um and then or like sometimes you'll read something and you'll be like i should store away that little tidbit for later because it might not make sense until later which is like that's just how these things work sometimes adult fantasies can be they can just be more detail heavy and a little bit more subtle sometimes than why a fantasy just with like a more intricate and detailed approach to the writing and the world building but i think it's really cool i am really enjoying the fact that it's like literally like every kind of creature um basically and they're divided into four houses but it's like this modern city so they have like college and cell phones like i feel like i'm reading a fantasy au which is like hilarious because like you know like people write fan fictions that are like au's like that so like it's just really cool to see one brought to life in a book and in an adult book too as well so like you know things can get very mature and i'm excited and i've heard that there aren't actually any sex scenes in this book but that it is like 
sex positive and definitely the language is there and like the activities that they are participating in are more mature so like I had to stop myself from reading basically I was like okay like I want to go bullet journal for a little bit before I go to bed so I stopped myself but yeah just like so far so good the setup within like the first 50 pages like we get a good sense of our main character and what she's like and like this world and I'm intrigued to see where it goes and keep you up with the commentary and I think I'm gonna try and keep this spoiler free just make like generalizations about what's going on in this book and if I do talk about anything spoilers I'll just it'll be like a short section and I'll put something on the screen but I don't intend for this to be a spoiler filled blog so yes so I wasn't even gonna film anything <laughs> because just you know having one of those days but I read all of Crescent City basically in the past few days, like before Saturday, I was on page 50. So like, it doesn't really count. And um, yeah, now it's Sunday night and I finished it. And like, I'm feeling like that was the best book I've ever read in my existence. Like, I don't even know how to process my emotions because it was just wild. Like how, how how does anyone think of these things just like the way the plot is structured and the way that things are revealed to you is insanity and the way that she writes the relationships between the characters like there were some things that truly just like ripped out my heart and i was like ugly sobbing reading them and then like oh my god this is like one of the best books i've ever read she really came into the adult genre and was like i'm here with this book that is amazing and like <sighs> sarah j mass is just amazing i will literally read and worship anything that she puts out and this like you can just see like how much she's improved as an author and like I just loved everything about it and I'm just baffled. I need time to process my emotions so I'll probably come on and film a vlog clip when I'm hopefully feeling a little bit better tomorrow but like I just needed to come on and say my feelings as I finished because I just needed to capture how I was doing and like I basically read 400 pages both on Saturday and Sunday and I have not sat down and read that much in a really long time. But there's just something about her books that I cannot put them down. And I just feel like I have this desire to want to, want to read even more now because like I just loved it so, so much. And I feel like I'm going to be turning to books like I have been reading during this quarantine but like I feel like now I'm going to be leaning on books more as my like emotional anchor I don't know I I need to sort through my TBR and see like what I want to read next but I feel like I can't be like a fantasy thing because like just I don't know what would compare but also I do want to read more adult fantasy so like I might reach for Mistborn and actually like finish it for once because I never did finish it after I started it even though I liked it but I think I need something different after but um oh, that was just cr cr like crazy wow I'm floored I loved that so much so much like, that is why I like reading books okay let's see how far I can get before my camera just completely dies but Yesterday I finished Crescent City, absolutely loved it, 5 out of 5 stars. I really really need to write my review tomorrow because otherwise like I want to write it while it's fresh and then I do need to go back and write a few more reviews. So I think that's going to be like my big goal to work on tomorrow. And then I decided to pick up the betrothed. Oh, today's Monday, by the way. I don't know what day, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what day it is. Oh, April 13th. So I decided to pick up The Betrothed because this book literally like wrecked me. I mean, you saw my clip last night. It was just like, like it, it just like a book hangover kind of because it was just so fantastic. So I needed something completely different. So I started The Betrothed by Kara Cass, who is the author of The Selection. And this one is coming out in May. So I want, I try to get two arcs like a month before they come out. 
and so far i'm on page 53 really really quick to read through like i did not even read for that long when i got to page 53 um it's about 300 pages i honestly think i could knock this out pretty quickly because the reading rush is starting on thursday i think it's like a weekend reading rush so i need to set my tbr for that and i'll talk about that tomorrow yeah i had a good day like i was productive like i felt like just like crap all weekend basically but i just kind of sat on the couch and read and that made me feel better today i worked out i was productive with my working at home i was productive with booktube so i'm hoping to keep that energy going the rest of the week so i'm gonna try and like see if i can just work out every day honestly because i was trying to do every other day but i don't move if i don't work out so i think i'm gonna try and just work out every day because they're quite fun and then just take the week off i don't know um what else so yeah it's so, like every day i try to set a major goal for myself so like today's work outside of my like work work was my booktube video that is going up tomorrow and then tomorrow's work will be writing my book reviews so with that i'm just gonna you know go to bed uh because this camera's almost dead but yeah read crescent city please it is amazing it literally punched me in the gut the emotions that sarah j mass was able to make me feel the climax of this novel literally felt like kingdom of ash like it was that big in scope which is crazy so to think i, th I don't know how many more novels are, are going to be but i think there's going to be four each one for each of the houses so i still have no idea who this person is on the cover by the way i don't know who that's supposed to be but don't know how she's even going to top it like if that's what the first book is like I don't know what we have in store for the rest of the series and knowing Sarah J Mass, sometimes she has like pretty big tonal shifts where the novels kind of like really shift in terms of like what's going on in the plot and stuff like that and I think it's cool it keeps the series fresh and exciting so yeah and now we have The Betrothed which is like a really light fluffy novel about this girl she's a lady and she's being courted by a king and she's like all into it and then all of a sudden she meets a handsome stranger that like she actually falls in love with so i think it's like that sort of thing and it's very like like you know the writing style in adult books are so it's like so dense and very very descriptive and this is just like very light and fluffy so i really needed something different after crescent city because if i read something too similar i would only compare it so that's why i have started with this and uh yeah that's all for now <laughs> I'm here to declare my reading rush TBR and let's see so the prompts are so read a book with a house on the cover I'm going to read missions of love volume one by Emma Toyama this is a manga about a girl that is a high school not like a cell phone novelist but she doesn't actually know anything about love so she's gonna get this guy to like go out with her basically um and it's supposed to be like really fun and the house on the cover is it looks like they're in a house with curtains and that's about as close as i could get to a house so we're being real lax here on the prompts but it's fine okay read a book in the same room the whole time for this one i'm going to go with monstrous volume three haven because i do want to read the next installment in this series i love it so freaking much it is so gorgeous and so i'm just uh gonna read in the same spot i mean i read pretty much everything in the same spot anyways like i don't really move so okay next one is read a book somewhere you wish you could go and for this one i wanted to read ruthless gods during this thing this readathon so um yeah i kind of wish i could go to the world of ruthless gods do i think i would survive probably not but i think it would be cool to like witness the magic that they have so yeah i wish i could go here because at least they don't have coronavirus i don't know so then read a book that will make you smile and for this one i'm going to be reading by the book by amanda Sellett, and this is a buddy read with my friend keely so yeah those are the four books that i'm planning on reading for the reading rush 
so should be doable in like the four days because we have a manga, a comic, a sh little bit of a shorter book. This one's like 300 something pages and then one long book. So I think, I think we'll be good. Yeah, I haven't read any more of The Betrothed because I've been working all day. And um, yeah, that's it. And I don't know what I want to do with the rest of my night. Honestly, uh, probably read some more, journal, play Animal Crossing. That's, uh, that's what I do these days. See you tomorrow or later whenever I film again. Hello, it's Wednesday, April 15th, and so the reading rush starts tomorrow. And in order to be starting on my reading rush books during the reading rush, I need to finish the book I'm reading right now because I don't want to like put it down. So I'm currently on page 100, and my goal is I have like about 200 pages left. I honestly think I could do it. Um, it reads really, really quickly because it is a younger writing style. It's not bad, it's just definitely written younger especially after reading like a full like very descriptive adult book so I think I can honestly just like speed through it also like the formatting is such that like there's not a lot of like words per page you know like some books are like a lot of words per page and it feels like you take forever to read them and some are less and you know it doesn't take as long so I think I can be pretty speedy with this but so far I'm enjoying the intrigue and like I said it is a little bit of a younger writing style but I'm not trying to hold it against the book because I think it's written for the younger end of YA you know what I mean so with that I'm gonna try and I'm either gonna read 50 pages straight and then like not look at my phone or anything like that so I can concentrate and then take a break and like watch a YouTube video or something like that or I might do 75 pages we'll see but that's like my strategy to try and get far also because I have some videos that I want to watch so uh yeah just starting now it's like 11 45 see how long it takes me Hello, yes, it's very early morning on Friday, April 15th, no, 16th. The reading rush has began and I started by the book by Amanda Sellett, which is my first book and I'm on page 53. Um, yeah, I was supposed to get to here today, but I just filmed a video and something to edit it and it's already 12.30 uh, a.m. So the possibility of me getting to that point is slim to none, but uh, yeah, maybe I can just like read it all tomorrow i don't know i don't know but yeah i just like kind of i don't know got distracted and didn't really want to read because i'm sad because i was supposed to be going to see maddie and we were going to be seeing ats together on this friday oh yeah it's friday the 17th and i'm just sad that we're not hanging out and we're not seeing one of our favorite groups together so you know obviously it's necessary because I mean, it's really important to fight the virus social distancing but i'm still sad about it so yeah that's that however i do have book mail from the waterstones open this bad boy up oh my god she's so pretty <gasps> stop i love it oh my god this is the tour edition of crescent city from water stones and it has this in the front and it just says through love all is possible which is a quote that is really important in the book oh my goodness and it has a signed book plate i'm so excited that i got to score this book it's so interesting the pages feel different they're just as thin but they're like different because they're uk thin pages smells interesting too oh and the side is like this oh, it's so gorgeous oh and it has a ribbon yeah this is the tour copy that they put up on their website when sarah j mass's tour was canceled what can you do i don't know but now i got my hands on this gorgeous book that i would not have been able to get otherwise so you win some you lose some i suppose put that there for now I'm gonna go edit my video for tomorrow, which should be up by now. Uh, but yeah, it's a video about Goodreads reviews. So check it out, it should be up on my channel. I didn't think it was gonna turn out good and I, once I was talking, I felt like it actually did. So there you have it. Anyways. Hello. 
So it's like 1 a.m. on Saturday. Well, I guess, yeah, it's Saturday now, April 18th. And I'm watching Bang Bang Con, which is BTS's live streaming of their concerts. I was supposed to be at an 80s concert with Maddie today. So I'm in my K-pop feels. The first concert just ended and I've been like reading while I watch, but I think since the, the first concert started, I have read 40, 40 pages. So, um... I, I'm not really going at a fast pace, but I am trying to concentrate on finishing this and Like it will give me an excuse to be up for the concerts and uh, yeah, I still have like a hundred and um, 60 pages to go so yeah, but you know, I'm having fun watching the concerts and reading my book and yeah, it's a good time All Right my camera is almost out of storage, so I can't really say much, but it's 3.40 a.m. and I just finished by the book. Super cute little contemporary, four out of five stars, and like I probably would not have stayed up this late to read if I wasn't otherwise preoccupied with watching a BTS concert, so peace out. Hello, so it's now Saturday and I slept pretty late, so it's like 7.30 p.m. and I'm just kind of like getting to reading <laughs> so i'm starting ruthless gods and i'm literally a chapter into this book and i'm reminded of how much i freaking loved wicked saints and how i'm probably gonna love this too just because the writing style is so good it's so gothic and creepy and the magic system is one of the coolest things about it like it's like this our main girl nadia can talk to the gods in her head but it's very much I don't want to say like unreliable narrator but like her talking to the gods and like these gods are like unreliable like do we actually know if they're gods like do they have the best intentions in mind and like it's just very very cool and inventive and it's slavic inspired not russian inspired so it's like slightly different and i just have really high expectations for the sequel i think i'm really gonna love it because i really love these characters and the way they interact like in this first chapter like Nadia and Seraphin are interacting and like in the beginning of the first book like you don't even like Seraphin you're like this guy's kind of a jerk and he sucks and then you grow to like him and it's kind of like how Nadia feels about them that they're like at each other's throats but they still like like each other I don't know and all of the events that occurred at the end of Wicked Saints which was just like insane are coming back to me and yeah, I'm just really excited to dig into it. I have this tab here. So like my plan for the reading rush was to read by the book in two days, which I did. I read it mostly yesterday <laughs> and then um, read this Saturday, Sunday. So Bang Bang Con day two starts at 11 p.m. And while I can like read and watch at the same time, I think it would be harder to concentrate on this. So I think that I am just going to try and literally do nothing else but read until that starts at 11 p.m. and see where that gets me. And I am like really into the story. So I know that because it's something I'm really into, it will be something that I'll just be able to give all of my concentration to. So I'll keep you updated.
so now it's Monday, April 20th, and the reading rush ended yesterday, and I did not finish my books. It happens. I ended up getting to page, let's see, 255 of Ruthless God, so I made good progress. I don't think I'm going to be able to read anything today, just because I have to edit my video for it tomorrow, which is fine, but I'm loving this book. It's just so dark gothic fairy tale like but it definitely wasn't one that was like i was going to be able to like read through very very quickly even though i was really immersed in it it is kind of like the writing is very lyrical and like there are some scenes where the characters aren't in the right mindset so they don't know what's going on and so the writing appears very fractured to reflect their mindset and i know for some people that might not settle right because they'll be like what's going on but to me it makes sense because the writing is reflecting the character's understanding and we're trying to see through their eyes and understand as they understand it and then like as you go along you get to understand more about how this works because the thing with this is that there are established magic systems but it's kind of being shown that there's layers to it and as the characters discover more we discover more so we don't always have all the pieces all the time and i think that it's done in a way that like you know what pieces are missing but it's very obvious that there's a structure because to me, one of the things that really, really bothers me in fantasy books is when the magic system doesn't make any sense. But for this one, it has an explanation for why it doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't make sense, but you know that it is very complex and thought out. It's just that it shouldn't make sense right now for the plot. Um, not that it's messy writing or anything like that. So you can definitely tell a difference. So yeah, I'm just like, as you can see, I've been tabbing it. I've been really, really loving this one. It's amazing. Like the interactions between the characters are just so good. And like we get more of Seraphin and the author said like each book is for a specific character. And this one is more like Seraphin's character arc, even though obviously there's stuff going on with our other two main characters. But yeah, we get to see more of like what's happening to him. And he is the one on the side here because he has this scar. And there was this really, really beautiful scene at the end of Wicked Saints with what happened to him and the climax of that book. And that kind of imagery is here present. And it's almost like you get a sense of like, the characters sometimes don't know what reality is and so when you're reading you don't know what the reality is either i just think it's really really phenomenally done and i'm really excited to continue reading on with this book so with that being said i am going to close out my vlog i didn't get to monstrous volume three which is what i wanted to read my last book the reading rush but hopefully i'll read it soon it's funny because this like eye creature kind of reminds me of something in ruthless gods if you've read it you know what i mean but yeah, um, that's fine. I just felt like I have been, I was reading more than I was reading and that's kind of the point of the reading rush is to encourage you to have this time of a lot of reading. But I had a good weekend. I watched some BTS concerts and I just read books and relaxed and yeah, it just, it made me feel good and I'm really excited to continue reading Ruthless Gods because I'm very, very invested in the story and I love where it's going so far. So have some fun, read some books and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.